your grass. Must have a preview of Sly Cooper too. He's oh. gonna dangle it. Oh, he's like a kitten with a ball of string. Pretty. But Adam and I are not heartless. No matter what the people on the message board say, we'll show you what to play while you're waiting for new games like Splinter Cell 3, Battlefield 2, and Final Fantasy 12. Did we really need 12 of them? You know, somewhere a man dressed as Yuna is nodding. Mm -hmm. But let us begin with one of the most exciting games we saw this year's E3, Ubisoft Splinter Cell 3. Yes, this time around, Sam Fisher can pull people over railings, rip through walls, and do the splits in a way that makes Chippendale dancers blush. Of course, you can't play it now, but here's a little something to tide you over. Our review of Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow may sound like the result of slinging a handful of magnetic poetry at a fridge, but in reality, it's the title of Sam Fisher's latest special ops adventure. The NSA just called me. We have a problem in East Timor. What kind of problem? A big one. You have a lot more latitude to do what you like in Pandora Tomorrow. The levels are often designed to allow you multiple ways to complete your objectives. Of course, Sam's still not much of a gunfighter, so being sneaky is always preferable to a stand-up shootout. Maybe I've got a use for this storage device I pulled off the gorilla I killed. Thanks. How'd you hide it from your guard? Just wash your hands when you're done with it. The gameplay is pretty much unchanged, although Sam has gained a few new tricks. He can hang and shoot from pipes. He's got a quick dash to get across exposed doorways, and he can shift his weight in a split jump to reach nearby ledges. Man, that hurts just looking at it. And the enemies still loudly proclaim whether or not they saw you. Who's there? Probably my imagination. When hiring sentries, I think the ability to rationalize suspicious noises as hallucinations would probably not be on the list of qualifications. There's nothing here. The challenge level is still high, and one slip up will get you beat down faster than an ass grabber at an Indigo Girls concert. Damn it, Fisher. We weren't supposed to have any casualties. The mission's over. But by far, the most exciting addition is the brand new multiplayer mode. But this time, you're not alone. In multiplayer, two teams are pitted against each other. On one side are the spies of Shadownet, who behave just like Sam Fisher does in the single player mode. The mercenaries of Argus are stuck in first person shooter viewpoints, and it's their job to stop the Shadownet spies from disarming the bioweapons planted around the map. Perhaps the coolest part is when a spy grabs a mercenary, the spy can talk to her prey using the Xbox Live headset. Hi, Adam. Hi, Morgan. Did you know that in 1962, a fit of uncontrollable contagious laughter in Tanganyika resulted in several people literally laughing themselves to death? No, I didn't. <laughs> While the mercs are armed to the teeth, their lack of peripheral vision means that the spies can easily sneak up on them. If the spies play their cards right, that is. Various gadgets and traps can detect the spies, and the mercs have special vision modes designed to pick up movement and the use of the spies' night vision goggles. Plus, every time you start hacking, the mercs are alerted. The spies have many gadgets, but their guns only shoot taser bullets. Of course, sometimes that's enough. Hey, Adam. Hello, Morgan. Did you know that a bullet to your arm or leg can kill you if the shock of the projectile's entry is transmitted through the liquid in your body, damaging multiple internal organs? No, I did not. I need information. I... I don't speak English. I'd be willing to bet your neck that you do. If you can tear yourself away from the multiplayer long enough to return to Sam Fisher's missions, you'll find a more challenging and typically gorgeous game that will definitely satisfy Splinter Cell fans. It's every bit as good as the first game. Douglas, it's been a while. Fisher? My god, man, you're getting old. But to get the most out of Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow, you have to hit the multiplayer. This is the reason you'll be playing Pandora tomorrow for months to come. We give it a five out of five. One more time. Adam. Morgan. Did you know the entry wound of a shot? Oh, just knock me out. Huzzah! I love this game. At the moment, Splinter Cell 3 is a PC exclusive, but like Sam Fisher's other adventures, it's bound to wind up in the Xbox and PS2 eventually. 
but by far. The most exciting thing about three is the new co-op play. Now I got to take a long look at this one at E3 and the player interactions are amazing. You have to use each other to like climb up walls, you can hold their legs, make them type on keyboard. I bet you can hug in the game as well. Oh, that'd be very cute. Now you, come closer to the TV because later in the show we have Metal Gear, Battlefield, and Final Fantasy. And there's nothing final about it. Coming up, because there's nothing more fun than a land war in Asia, it's Battlefield Vietnam. From the shadows of death, they have come to unleash their supernatural evil upon us all. They have no equal until now. Her name is Electra. From the forces that brought you X-Men. The Electra. The final battle begins January 14th, Lady PG-13. Hey Mitch. Wanna smell my cast? You've lost a powerful ally. Imagine if you were like Mitch and had access to a million songs. Say Mitch, you think I can get those status reports I asked for? Mitch, I'm serious. With Napster's 30-day free trial, you can be like Mitch. That's unlimited access to a million songs, free to check out for 30 days. It's easy. Just sign up at napster.com slash TV or call 1-866-4-NAPSTER. Remember, 30 days is just the start to a whole lot of music. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without Hi, guess what day today is? It's Wednesday. <laughs> get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Discover all the music you want at napster.com slash TV. Hey, Jim. Hey, Ronnie. What's that? Oh, well, Ronnie lately I've been wanting faster internet. So I got an Earthlink high speed connection and now I got, you know. Right, right. Seems kind of crazy to me. It's, it's downloading up to 70 times faster than the regular dial up crazy, Ronnie. I'm getting free protection tools like virus blocker, spam blocker, and spyware blocker, and right now I'm getting a great deal on Earthlink high speed. Is that kind of crazy, Ronnie? Hmm. Touche, Jim. But what if I don't want a crazy thing on top of my head? It's not even real, Ronnie. Just a marketing device. Yeah. Just to help remind people of Earthlink. Yeah. See? Have a good one. I'll try. More speed, more security, more control. That's Earthlink High Speed. Get the first three months of high speed for just $19.95 a month. Call 800-827-0142 or visit these retailers. Earthlink revolves around you. On real time, presented by Coca Cola. Ten back to back episodes of the Electric Playground. Tell me everything about Splinter Cell 3 right now. Tomorrow at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific. Sir Kill a Lot, Mr. Psycho, Fluffy, the world's greatest metallic murder machines in an all or nothing battle to the death. Get that toaster out of here. This rig is for robots. Robot Wars, new episode tomorrow night at 10. Go, go, gadget co hosts! It's Adam Zessler and Morgan West. Welcome back to X Place Can't Hardly Wait episode. No, we didn't go out and name an episode after a mediocre Jennifer Love Hewitt movie because we thought it was cute. We did it because we're lazy. Yes, today we're showing you a tantalizing glimpse of big games that have yet to be released and then showing you what you should be playing until they come out. Yes, and the first person shooter fans are eagerly awaiting the release of Battlefield 2. Now, it's set in the modern era, has new weapons, and features a new graphics engine. Plus, a new ranking system that unlocks weaponry. But, of course, it won't come out until 2005. Nope. So, until then, why not enjoy the most recent installment of Battlefield, which is set in Vietnam? Awkward. I wouldn't say nothing. If it weren't for war, where would we get our game ideas? The Battlefield series marches into the steaming jungles in Battlefield Vietnam. Apparently, EA doesn't know that you should never get involved in a land war in Asia. At least they didn't go in against a Sicilian when death was on the line. This is essentially the same game as Battlefield 1942, with minor tweaks and more trees. 
There's been a heavy visual upgrade, as you can see. Foliage and other types of jungle-related cover are key components to Battlefield Vietnam. You won't be charging enemy positions so much as crawling towards them on your belly. When you read the flag, a timer now tells you how long it will be until you capture it. Vietnam being a more modern war than WWII, you get tons of new vehicles to play with. The most notable addition to the game is the assortment of helicopters. The Whirly Birds can be used for troop transport and airlifting, but mostly I just play right in the Valkyries and attack anything that moves. All the vehicles have radios in them that can be used to blast classic raw tunes for all to hear as you drive past. This is awesome and adds immensely to the game's atmosphere. Real Viet Cong probably didn't headbang to the Bobby Fuller 4, but they should have. Strangely, vehicles almost seem to be a handicap in Battlefield Vietnam. You're usually better off on foot with some of the ridiculously overpowered infantry weapons. Yes, balance is a bit of an issue in this game. The American Heavy Assault class is pretty much death incarnate. That M60 machine gun is practically a rapid-fire sniper rifle. The minor balance issues certainly don't ruin the game. Battlefield Vietnam is a great multiplayer combat game, but more balanced weaponry would have put it on par with its predecessor. As usual in Battlefield, the single-player game is pointless. The AI is so brain-dead, you don't play against them so much as just toy with them. Morgan, I can bust that tank with three rockets. Adam, I can bust that tank with two rockets. I can bust that tank with one rocket. Bust that tank. Battlefield Vietnam is not a gritty game version of the Deer Hunter. It's a nice, sanitized, T-rated romp through one of America's most troubling moments. And that's sort of disconcerting. Stand down, soldier! You are a menace! Still, for heated online jungle warfare, it has no equal. We give it a four out of five. Well, I always like my first-person shooters with a healthy dose of... What were they thinking? Vietnam. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. The kids love it. And they also love Final Fantasy, which is coming up next. Oh, Final Fantasy, that's my Vietnam. Stop. Up next, can't wait for Final Fantasy 12? Yep, we don't have that problem either. Why did your last diet fail? If you're over 30, overstressed, and overweight, take a look in the mirror. You've got excess body fat around your waist, hips, and belly, right? Well, diet failure is not your fault. The problem is cortisol, a nasty little stress hormone that traps excess fat around the middle. But now, there's Relicor. Relicor helps control cortisol and helps us lose stubborn belly fat fast. If you're dieting and still plagued by unsightly belly bulge, even if you're low-carb dieting, there's only one Relicor. Relicor helps you get thinner, look younger, and have energy to burn. Remember, when you're over 30, overstressed, and want to get rid of stubborn belly fat, the answer is Relicor. Call in the next 15 minutes and find out how you can receive a one-month supply of Relicor absolutely free. Call 1-800-477-1830. That's 1-800-477-1830. Order Relicor now. It's easy. You'll love it. Anna here's got it all. Great career, family, and her dream home. A few years ago, here's what she didn't have. A degree, or the time to earn one. She needed a convenient way to earn a bachelor's degree. So where'd she go? DeVry University Online. That's where she found DeVry's free how-to guide to earning an online degree in everything from business to technology. DeVry's got more than 70 years experience with career-focused education, and now the most interactive online program around. That means more personal feedback from professors, more connections with your fellow students. You could even mix and match, take classes online, in a classroom, or both. But wherever you learn, you'll earn an in-demand online degree from a university employer's respect. So call or visit DeVry Online now. Their free guide to earning a degree online can make your dream come true, just like Anna's did. DeVry University Online, where quality and convenience click. Like the wheels? I hate Adam Sessler. I'd rather suck at a urinal block to play this game.
Why does he get to play video games and review video games on our show about video games? Why does he get to spend every day with Morgan Webb? We've got a preview of the hottest new releases. Yeah! <laughs> Obsessed with video games? Watch X Play with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Weeknights at 11. Cell phone, 1.2 megapixel camera, and holds 5,000 MP3s. Wow, that's, that's really impressive. Mm. Hold on a second, sorry. Hello? Yeah, hey, I'm in the middle of lunch. Uh, can I call you back? All right, cool, thanks. So that's a lot of MP3s. Yeah. See the best, greatest, biggest, shiniest, coolest, and blinkiest new stuff coming next year when the Screensavers goes live at the Consumer Electronics Show January 6th and 7th at 7 Eastern. Hold on, let me, let me put you on speakerphone. No. Once again, proof that basic cable standards are slipping. Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Slipping fast. Welcome back to x -Blade. Can't hardly wait special. Mm. We're showing you the games that will rock your world in 2005. And then we're showing you what to play until they come out. And what, what episode of x -Blade would be complete without Final Fantasy game? I am assuming that's a sarcastic rhetorical question. Mm. A sad one. Square announced Final Fantasy XII at E3. And from what we can tell, well, the cutscenes look good. Yippee! But of course, some of you can't wait until 2005 for this RPG to steal 40 irreplaceable hours of your life away. That's why we have Final Fantasy XI Online. Which can steal thousands of hours of your life away right now. Here's our review. Mm -hmm. I'm clashing your head. Final Fantasy XI marks a major departure for the Final Fantasy series. After 10 single-player RPGs, Square Enix has struck out into the massively multiplayer realm. After slogging my way through the clumsy interface, I'm ready to create my character. Let's see. Okay, not into this cutesy bootsy manchi cheat thing. I'll go with a hot cat girl. Yeah, that's normal. The world of Vanadeel is pretty standard fantasy. It's formerly pure, but now it's under siege by some kind of evil. Only you and thousands of other players can save the place from the rampaging hordes of orcs and other monsters. Like this, evil sheep. What? You've never seen evil sheep before? They're bad. Oh, sorry. Most of your time in Final Fantasy XI is spent killing things to gain experience, which will then let you level up so you can kill bigger things for more experience and level up some more. For instance, you can kill these bunnies easily. Leveling up your bunny slaughter seems like a great idea. Until you run into a bunny that can kick your ass just by thinking about it. There's no warning. You just die horribly at the hands of Uber Bunny and earn a nice experience penalty. Then you go out, and just as you get back to where you were before, here comes the murder machine with the motor in its nose again. <laughs> ah! Morning! Yes? Ah! You do this. Okay. I'll just switch over to my white mage guy. Off we go. Okay, Adam isn't totally off base here. Final Fantasy XI's interface is awkward at first, and you do run into the occasional uber rabbit. However, there's plenty of good stuff too. It's certainly one of the prettiest massively multiplayer games around. The environments are incredibly detailed, and just wandering aimlessly is a treat. The character selection is slightly limited in the number of faces you can choose, so expect to see a lot of identical people around. Thankfully, the jobs and abilities you can earn are anything but limited. You start out with a main job, like warrior, white mage, and that kind of thing. Later, you can add on a sub-job, which lets you earn the abilities of another class. Final Fantasy XI encourages you to experiment with this. Switching jobs carries no penalty, and the game even rewards you for it eventually. You'll also notice a lot of Japanese players around. Final Fantasy XI has been online for a while in Japan. Not only is the game stable and smooth, but most people are experienced and really nice and helpful. See, if Adam would actually talk to people, he might enjoy this more. If you're not into the massively multiplayer thing, Final Fantasy XI probably isn't going to change your mind. But fans of this kind of game will find a lot to love here. Chalk up Final Fantasy XI as a 4 out of 5, bunnies and all. Well, I just lost three minutes of my life. 
Adam hates this theory because it takes his mythology seriously and gives millions of gamers a sense of emotional resonance. No, I've had more resonance watching an episode of Magnum P.I. Ignore him and stay with us, because up next we have Metal Gear. Oh great, more five hour cutscene. Woohoo! Up next, Solid Snake has a firm command of the obvious. Hey, you're that ninja. The number one selling diet pill in America. It's Xantrex 3. Rapid weight loss, incredible energy, and one amazing super pill. Xantrex 3. Yes! Yes! Xantrex yes! 3 at GNC and smarter retailers nationwide. Yes! The most powerful diet pill in America. Xantrex 3. More weight loss, faster weight loss, energy to burn. Xantrex 3. Yes! 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 Xantrex 3 at smarter retailers nationwide. No wonder everyone loves Xantrex 3. Xantrex 3. Yes! Five years ago, my traditional business went bankrupt. I started a home-based business, and now I'm earning over half a million a year. If you're considering a home business, this is the one website you need to visit. I got started less than a year ago, and already I'm up to 5,000 a month. I make over 7,000 a month in my spare time. My goal for next year is 50,000 a month. Create your own success story. Log on to this website and get started today. Log on to 13income.com and create your own success story. Log on to 13income.com and get started now. No crunches ever. Introducing the Ab Lounge, scientifically designed to get you up off the floor, making old-fashioned crunches a thing of the past. Sculpt your abdominals using the Ab Lounge Jackknife, proven in university testing to be better for your body. It's as easy as a crunch, but the Ab Lounge design makes every move really count, targeting your abs without wasted effort. Compare the Ab Lounge to an old-fashioned crunch. The advanced Ab Lounge Jackknife generates up to 75% more muscle activity in the upper and lower abdominals, and an amazing 268% more in the love handle obliques. I have this one pair of jeans. After just eight weeks, my fat jeans don't really fit anymore. With its rolled steel frame, the Ab Lounge supports up to 275 pounds. And it's so easy, almost anyone can use it. Call now to try the Ab Lounge for 30 days for just $14.95. If you don't agree the Ab Lounge is the best way to a sexy stomach, return it within 30 days for a refund of your $14.95. Call now and say goodbye to crunches forever. I hate Adam Sessler. This game is horrendous. Why does he get to spend every day with Morgan Webb? We've got a preview of the hottest new releases. Yeah! <laughs> Watch X-Play with Adam and Morgan, weeknights at 11. Objects in your television may appear closer than they really are. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Ah, welcome back to X Place. Can't hardly wait special. Yes, we went to E3 and saw games so good they made grown men weep. And by grown men, I sort of mean Adam. And that's because I was pepper sprayed by a booth babe. Mm. You know, she thought I was a regular fanboy. She didn't see my press credentials. Mm. That's what she said. Good times. Hideo Kojima's latest Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater was a big hit at this year's E3. This time around, Solid Snake uses camouflage. He eats snakes and has a lush forest environment to play around in. Yes. Yeah. Of course, you don't get to play it now. No, that would be too easy. Instead, why not enjoy the remake of the game that launched a thousand stealth titles? Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. Fanboys and girls rejoice! Solid Snake is back in Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes, a remake of the original Metal Gear Solid for the PS1. Yay! Yippee! That's right, everyone's favorite stealth superstar is back for more sneaking, shooting, and hiding corpses in a locker. And has he got away with the ladies? You've got a great butt. Don't stare at me like that. Ah! I got her. For those who missed the first Metal Gear Solid, no worries. It's recreated, for the most part verbatim, in Twin Snakes. The most significant improvement is the game's total graphic overhaul. Basically, it's as if they ripped MGS out of its original engine and dumped it into Metal Gear Solid 2's. And it looks great. Hands down, the change with the most far-reaching implications is the ability to fire your weapon from a first-person viewpoint. Just like in Metal Gear Solid 2, popping a guard with a trank gun will instantly drop him. Isn't that cool how he just passes out? I bet it would even work on these cute mice. Hmm, wrong ammo. 
couldn't leave any witnesses. Anyway, the game's only shortcomings are the same advances that make it so cool. While it's great to be able to bust shots with such precision, it comes at a price, challenge. Since it's a lot easier to drop guards now, you won't really be stressing about getting spotted. And if you've got decent aim, you can drop a whole squad with a few well-aimed shots. Sure, doing this is fun and exciting. It just makes the overall experience focus a bit less on stealth. Though, frankly, subtlety isn't really Snake's strong point to begin with. Hey, you're that ninja. Um, duh, Einstein. Who are you? It says Rob Paulson right there on the screen. Metal Gear creator Hideo Kojima gives us a whacked out narrative full of weird moments. Like this masochistic ninja. Otacon peeing his pants. Oh, what next? And these cool Easter eggs. Bad GameCube. The downside is that if lengthy, overindulgent cutscenes bore you, Twin Snakes might make you want to bang your head against the floor. Hey, you're that ninja. But enough about the downside. Let's look at how much fun playing this game is. I could do this all day. I'm alive. Ah! Mm. There's nothing Freudian to see here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Nothing at all. Ah! Hmm. Hmm. Why does he have stars coming out of his... Never mind. Metal Gear Solid was hailed as a masterpiece with good reason, and the slick visual presentation of the revised version only serves to make it relevant to the modern market. We give Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes a four out of five. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to take Snake to the bathroom. Of course, a lot of people have been speculating that the Solid Snake in Metal Gear Solid 3 is actually Big Boss. Now, Kojima isn't talking, and if he was talking, it would be in Japanese, and we couldn't understand right. it. But, you know, that's just one of the mysteries in this game. The other one is how Feeding Snake is going to play out over the course of the game. Now, you have to hunt down animals and eat them, but you can also throw them on your enemies. And we're all curious to see how that works out. I love throwing animals at people. Especially since we've heard that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, that's going to also have a component where you have to feed your character. Yeah. Maybe you have to run over your food with a car, like mm. a chicken or what's a badger. The, what's up with the action titles? They're getting all simmy. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But how about viewer mail? You know, sometimes they ask us practical questions yeah. as opposed to just telling me how ugly my shirts are. Which is the case with today's email. It was written by Big Kid 557 from Chandler, Arizona. Big Kid writes, mm -hmm. I was watching Best of E3 2004, and I was wondering if the Nintendo DS will have the same format for game cartridges as the GBA SP. The answer is yes and no. Now you're just confusing them. Uh -oh. The good news is that the DS will be backwards compatible so you can play Game Boy Advance games on it. But it will have a second slot for the DS cartridges. Yes, now that may not be enough for you when you're like, I need to know more. And we have more. Yes, we do. If you want more on the DS or anything else that doesn't involve reproduction, then go to our website, g4techtv.com slash xplay. I think we have something about reproduction on our website. Yeah, know? but it's probably not informative or instructive. No. You go, just stay in your health class in high school. Right. It's, well, assuming that that's informative and instructive. Well, speaking of informative and instructive, do you want to play uh, Mary Kay National League yes. 16? Yes, 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 I do. Yes. Oh, look at that, I have a PS1 controller. Yes. I won't be able to have all those analog functions that I was expecting to have well, with Mary Kay National. It's probably going to be hard to like yeah. move them around and make them dance. Then this is the 16, right? right? Drive cars. Yeah. Do they have like... 